Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. And I am here with a um, an unboxing. Um, but first, we're going to try this. So <coughs> I forgot it at um, Thanksgiving because I did not put it in my inventory. But um, glazed apples serves three to four tasteful size Bob Evans. I'm pretty sure it was $4.99. It's smaller, it's 14 ounces. But, you know, I made a lot of these for my friend Angela when she was sick. She loved them. So, I put some cinnamon just on the side. I wanted to taste them plain first. They're not hard to make. They're just, you know, a little bit time consuming. I heat it up in the microwave. They're good. Let's try with some cinnamon. Mmm. They've got some crunch to them. But they're soft. I like cinnamon, so I put cinnamon on it. It doesn't really need cinnamon. Yeah. I had never seen them before. So I don't know if they're just going to bring them out for the holidays. I'm not sure. But... Trying to use up my gift card, y'all. You know, so people give me more. But this one, my sister-in-law, I feel like I don't remember if she gave it for me Christmas or my birthday. Because, you know, I was cooking more since my mom left. So it is called... Um, Penzies. Now, they are online. I did it online. She gave me a gift card for $50. I spent $50.34. So, But there's also a store in um, Rockville, Maryland, where you can go in and look for anybody who's around that area. So what I did is, and I love this, because it, you know, I share my, <coughs> when I buy new things, I share them with Beverly. I have them, like I just <coughs> have her, um, the everything but the leftovers because I will never go through them. I won't. And I'm not somebody who's using um, tons of seasoning, right? I use seasoning, but so what I did was I ordered the sample so I could try a bunch of different ones, right? They're not putting prices on here. I feel like it was $2.95 around there. So let's start. So I have Florida seasoned pepper. And they have names for them, um, and they don't really, let me see here. So this is black pepper, telly cherry, black pepper, citrate acid, lemon peel, garlic, orange peel, and onion. So they're saying that this pairs really well with um, pasta salads, fish, turkey, chicken, root vegetables. Um, so. I will, when I'm going to try to start doing a cooking series of cooking with these spices, you guys. So many ideas. I'm uploading right now a Trader Joe's haul from after, thing, after October, but early November. And I looked, you guys, if it's a repeat, I'm going to, I went and looked. See, this is why I have to do things quickly. And when I don't, it's just, <coughs> what I mean, if someone tells me I've done it, a bunch of people, I'll take it down. But. It's still test test, taste testing and whatnot. Okay, so this one is Greek seasoning. And this, it, you can use it um, for salad dressing. Um, oh, that, that might be good. So you mix it with salad dressing. It has salt, oregano, garlic, lemon peel, telly cherry, black pepper, and a marjoram. And then I got Mural of Flavor, Salt Free. This tends to be one of their real popular ones. And I think it's like that, um, what's that thing called everyone's crazy about? Is it Mr. Lawson's or something like that? That's a salt free kind of um, spice thing. It just says spices, shallots, onion, garlic, lemon peel, citric acid, chives, and orange peel. Um, so what spices means, I don't know y'all. Um, it blends a dozen spices and herbs, creating a wall, hence mural, a flavor so delicious there's no need to add salt. Inspired by the rich and mouth-watering flavors of Western Mediterranean, Medi the Mediterranean, I'm saying right, Mediterranean, 
Mural flavor is wonderfully versatile, tried on chicken, fish, pork, and beef, added to soups, rice, potatoes, shake it over sliced tomatoes, corn, and scrambled eggs, y'all. So that is one. I almost bought a big one, but I thought, oh, I'm going to try all the little ones. So much fun. So this one is Arizona Dreaming, salt-free. Again, spices. Goodness me, here. Um, ground ancho, onion, garlic, paprika, citric acid, lemon peel, chipotle pepper, red pepper, jalapeno, cocoa, and natural smoke flavors. So maybe this one will be a little um, spicy, hot spicy. Um, great salt-free taco seasoning. Add to rice, beans, scrambled eggs, roast um, sweet potatoes, sprinkle on grilled veggie burgers, salmon, chicken, bell peppers for fajitas. So I'm going to make some fajitas this week. So I'm going to try that on it. This one is smoked Spanish style paprika. Um, rich, colorful, naturally smoked over traditional oak fires. Um, a smoky flavor, perfect color, good on everything. Um, I mean, that one's pretty. So I don't know what the difference is between smoked Spanish style and like Hungarian, is it Hungarian paprika? I don't know. But they all got, they're all good to 2024. Okay, Penzi's Forward, Flavor Your World. So this is, um, it says, I guess they gave it to me maybe. Let me see. You know, I got it. Um, Penzi's Forward is delicious, deliciousness dedicated to all those whose kindness opened our world of opportunity. A soft free suggestion, we repay the kindness by passing on greater kindness to those who come after us. Um, so it has special extra bold black pepper, onion, paprika, garlic, turmeric, spice, ex, ex, extractives, extractives including celery, rosemary, black pepper, thyme, basil, and paprika. So they're all a little the same and a little different, but that's nice. Um, I just got Penzi's pepper, world's best ground pepper, y'all. That's saying something, isn't it? I'm going to put in a little shaker. Um, a simple shake brings to life everything from hamburgers, sliced tomatoes, grilled chicken, mashed potatoes, perfect on salads, sandwiches, pasta, meat, fish, soup, and eggs. Delicious every time. <clears throat> so it's just pepper. My mom would love that. I got fajita seasoning, so maybe this will go on and I'll have to make some taco. Uh, taco sounds really good to me, you guys. So this is salt, black pepper, paprika, Turkish oregano, cayenne pepper, garlic, celery seed, Mexican oregano, cumin, basil, nutmeg, marjoram, thyme, and, ro thyme and rosemary. So good on beef, chicken, fish, and pork. I was going to say on everything. Anyway, it's good to... Um, Mix one tablespoon with one pound, thinly sliced meat, drizzle with one to two tablespoons oil and the juice of a lemon. That sounds really good. And this one is Southwest seasoning. And again, it's salt, ancho pepper, onion, garlic, black pepper, Mexican oregano, cayenne, pepper, cumin, chipotle, and cilantro. So if these end up being a little too hot for me or I don't like them, I will share them with my sister-in-law. And again, Good on chicken, fish, pork, eggs, salad, beans. Add a little bit to store-bought salsa. That's a good idea. Okay. And then I got Tuscan Sunset. And this is, let's see here. Sweet basil, Turkish oregano, red bell pepper, garlic, thyme, fennel, black pepper, anisi. Not my favorite, y'all, but I'm going to try it. Um, again, zucchini, eggplant, fresh tomato salads, pasta, olives, fish, and seafood. That makes the best pork tenderloin. And I got, this is called Outrage of Love. Um, salt, black pepper, red pepper, citric acid, shallots, lemon peel, white pepper, garlic, and green onion. And this says, um, the ongoing Republic effort, Republican effort uh-oh, to end our democracy is outrageous. Okay, this is interesting. This is, um, they want people to remain outraged of what happened to the Capitol. Okay, January 6th. 
outrageously good on avocados, eggs, fish, veggie, salad, chicken, hummus, hmm, and sandwiches. All right, there you go. And this one is Ruth and Muskeo Avenue chicken and fish seasoning. Um, I feel like they gave me one. I feel like this one. I feel like they gave me this one. Yeah, it's a sample. Huh, okay. It is salt, black pepper, garlic, lemon, peel, onion. Um, sprinkle on chicken, fish, pork chops, broccoli, asparagus, green beans, plain salads, breakfast, eggs, and potatoes. And there's a little thing she said, but they stuck this thing on there. Um, I think if I lived long enough, I could learn to like just about anything. Nope, not true. Cute. And another one I ordered is sandwich sprinkle. A cute packaging, y'all. And that has salt, garlic, that telly, cherry, black pepper, basil, oregano, rosemary, thyme, and margarine. Um, great sprinkled on sandwiches for croutons. Mix. Oh, that's a good idea. Two cups of bread cubes and one tablespoon saute and butter or olive oil until crispy. Not that I make croutons, but. And then I did get one or two. Okay. So I love cinnamon. They had all kinds of cinnamon, y'all, to choose from. So this is a mixture of all the kind of cinnamons. China cinnamon, Vietnamese cinnamon, K-O-R-I-N-T-J-E cinnamon. Cornate cinnamon and Ceylon um, cinnamon. So I thought that one made more sense. Smells good. So I love me my cinnamon, y'all. So it's a combination. And this one was Penzi's, I think that's how you say it, hot chocolate mix, y'all. I'm going to be doing a hot chocolate thing starting January. Love to cook, cook to love. Um, so you take this. Um, you take one tablespoon and a cup of milk. Stir gently. Sigh contentedly. It's a little bit like Trader Joe's. Cafe mocha. You're going to add um, coffee and cinnamon. So these, these go to good. So yeah, so that is what I got. Um, like I said, it was $50, um, $50.34. So I will be reporting back to you guys about these, about how, um, how I like them. And then, like I said, if there's something I feel like I'm not going to use, I'll pass it on to my brother and his wife. And was very thoughtful of her. Thank you so much, Anne. Because I was, she's very thoughtful, y'all. Very, extremely thoughtful. Truly. She knows people, right? Like I was cook, I'm cooking more you know and she thought how fun that would be and it is fun i'm just late and doing it so i have a i have a gift card for olive garden from before the pandemic y'all but one day you know what i'm gonna want to eat something like that and not want to spend the money and i have a gift card so look forward to that this winter and yeah so <laughs> i can't even hold them all y'all um let me do i love this sprinkle sandwich so anyway if I can do this. Let me do, hold on. Sue and I are working on my, getting my, um, yeah, more fun stuff on my channel and I'm supposed to take pictures because somehow she showed me y'all. Um, it's a big thing now is you have like the background, let's say it's Dollar Tree and then the person is on it, but I don't, I mean, I know how to do a Dollar Tree thing. I don't know how to like cut my thing out, get rid of the background and then paste it y'all so much to learn i'm so lucky like that i really am i'm so lucky so um i will report back i'm sure these things are phenomenal because you know my brother loves going in there you can go in there and look maybe i'll do that one day but that's kind of a neat gift to give someone even if you bought a couple bottles for people to try that's kind of cool you know and it's something people will use up you know when you think like okay what am i getting to someone that is consumable so you're not giving them like a clown tchotchke the y'all these are good mm -hmm. so good they'd be really good i go over i have a little homemade whipped cream ice cream 
oatmeal. You guys, it would be really good over oatmeal. But look at my cute, my um, flamingo earrings and my shirt. My friend says I should not have this so close to my face. But anyway, tis the season. Tis the season to sweat to death in your shirt. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm curious, what are your favorite seasonings? What is your favorite brand? You know, I got a lot of Trader Joe's. Um, like I said, I share them with Beverly, so I, you know, at least try to give her if, almost a half. But maybe that's what I'll do. I'll start cooking meals to use these spices to do a taste test on them and see how I like them. And if I don't pass them on, I know my brother and Anne will love them. So yeah, so many ideas, you guys. So many ideas. Well, thank you again. Your comments mean so much. But yeah, what spice do you use all the time that you think I should be using? Uh, Y'all, I'm going to say Old Bay. You make tuna, Old Bay. You can make um, like a seafood omelet, Old Bay. Deviled eggs, Old Bay. You are not, I mean, Old Bay is so good on, I mean, I, I mean to me, it's the best on seafood or fish, shrimp, that kind of thing. But um, deviled eggs, my mom will put them on deviled eggs, y'all. Ooh, that's a treat. So if you don't have Old Bay, um, that might be worth investing in. I don't know. I mean, Old Bay is a company. You know that if you live in the Del Marva, which is Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, you know all about Old Bay. But um, I'm not sure if Trader Joe's sells like a Trader Joe's version of Old Bay or what they would call it. But Old Bay, y'all, check it out. <laughs>